Live coverage. Yes, it's a very, very big trend, and we have been covering live the last two or three years. We do something between five and seven uh, live coverage every day. Our vision, prime time. And uh, the concept is live. It's breaking news, and it's extensive use of graphics. But during the show, the bombing in Boston took place. So we had to reschedule the whole show. And the live pictures were actually f coming in as we were broadcasting. And by the time he came to Boston and did his first live report, the traditional TV stations in Sweden had not even mentioned the Boston bombing yet. So this is a very big advantage that we have towards the traditional news stations. was up 45% and I think we can thank the believers there too because we were covering Justin Bieber's visit to Sweden uh, in the same way as Vegi did in Norway and the believers were really really fond of the coverage that we did and we even translated some of the stories to English because the traffic from all over the ver world was very high when he was he was there and the business model that we use is pre-rolls, mid-rolls, banners, sponsorships for pre-financed programs, as I mentioned before. Uh, the pre-rolls and the mid-rolls are uh, the ones that we use for prime time. Uh, but the pre-rolls we have in all our clips and all our news, you always get a pre-roll first. And what about the revenues? Well, this year we uh, have uh, can see that our, our revenues are going up 186% compared to last year. And to summarize this and some advice for you if you are planning to, to start up or expand your uh, video business, 
Uh, one advice is to train all your newspapers photographers to do video. This uh, we did a couple of years ago, and this is really uh, giving us some very, very good content from all over the world. Uh, we cooperate a lot with TV station in getting their promotion videos. You know, they have always wanted us to write about their TV programs. Now we can even show uh, clips from them and do stories about that. As I said, use free, flexible, and user-friendly technologies and get some exclusive content. Uh, you need something to, to, to uh, uh, attract the viewers to your website. Could be sports right, could be something else. Uh, something else that we have done is to create events and turn them into TV. I haven't mentioned Bar and Politics, which is one of our political shows that is nominated here in my award. Uh, which is a, a program where we invite political leaders. The first guest of the program was the Swedish Prime Minister, and uh, our political reporter interviews him in a hotel bar, and the place is always crowded. And this is a huge event in Sweden every time we do bar and politics. But that's not only TV, it's an event as well. And to last, so the last I wanted to say is to use your whole news organization as content providers to the TV operation. Primetime is not a project within the TV department. It's not a project in the digital department. It's a project of the Media House Expressen, and it involves reporters and editors from all over, all over the house. And that's also part of the success. And uh, there has been a lot to talk about disruption here those days. And I am very sure that the traditional TV broadcasters see prime times as ex extremely disruptive. Thank you. Anna, Anna, do join us here. Uh, Espen as well, please. Uh, fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Um, what happens, though, when Justin Bieber's not in town? <laughs> Because they're very impressive numbers, but, but it's a serious question. Um, I, I come from a television background, and, and just to, 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 to be sort of, you know, try, try to pressure you a bit, everybody knows that there's no business in live TV. You never make any money. You, don't, you cannot have pre-rolls, mid-rolls during the Boston Marathon coverage. It's massively expensive, and that perhaps the way to go really is appointment watching or, you know, on-demand watching of a specific event totally different approaches. You're going very much for the emulate the existing evening news program or the, uh, the, the, the news program as, as we've always known it. You're doing a mixture of both. But, but why? Why this emphasis on emulating what other television, sort of creating the same formula of an anchor sitting at a desk and, and giving us an evening news program? Why did you choose that? Did you consider both options? Okay. Uh, do you hear me now? Uh, we will in a moment. Right now. Well, as I mentioned, uh, do you hear me now? Yes. No. Uh, as I mentioned, what we have during the prime time is that we have the digital window. We have visitors coming to our website during the night. And why is that? Why is that changed now? We think it's because of the second screen behavior that earlier people were watching TV and they were watching the ads on broadcast TV. But now, when the breaks come, what do people do? They take up their mobile phone or their iPads and they come to our website because they want to know what's the latest news. And if we can use that behavior and uh, exposure our TV content to them, you have the ads in our TV content instead of on the broadcasting TV. Right. And Espen, uh, yeah. why is such an emphasis and investment in live broadcasting when it's not really your strength? Well, it, it is our strength because we, we have been trying to be live with our more text-based journalism for, uh, for years. So, uh, as I said, being a news organization, uh, you need to be live or close to live. You, uh, you need to be uh, relevant. But, but we do have a, a different approach uh, because while you are s scheduling at night, uh, we have a contract with our readers. If it's, if it's live television, it's because it's interesting. You know, we are not there, we are not live to be live. We are live if live is better than not being live. So the story determines if we want to go live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. 
Can I just add something there? Uh, when we uh, broadcast prime time, uh, you didn't see that now because I just show you some clips from it, but it's always presented in a live coverage site where you can follow the social medias, you can interact with the hosts, and this is also something that different very much from broadcasting, which we, of course, uh, take advantage of. Right. Uh, let me quickly open up to the floor. I'm sure there are plenty of questions left, right? Nobody? Yeah, right there. Uh, first question. Did you see a hand there? No. Right. Hi, Gerald from Host Media. So, w you showed us lots of impressive videos, and your, your TV trucks, at least in Norway, are smaller than the one from the public television station. That, that's a good thing, but how do you uh, get money in for the contents you produce? Can you, can you calculate that video is, is earning money itself, or has it to be financed by other parts of your revenues? both in Sweden and Norway. It's a pretty much break-even operation now. So that has been our approach. We, we, uh, we grow the revenue and we use that money to, uh, to uh, invest. Um, and it's pre-rolls, after-rolls. We do product uh, placement. Uh, for example, in the football show, Pepsi-Cola pays to have that cola, that Pepsi-Cola on the table and, and so on. Um, so the question now is, does it really scale? Because we are sold out. We have been, uh, VGTV has been sold out for one and a half year. But we don't, and, but, and we are quite expensive. So the contact price is higher than television. So we, we can't just rise the prices. So we need either more inventory or we need other ways of distribution, and we think, it, think it's a combination of that. Mm -hmm. uh, let, let me press you a bit on the figures. Uh, the, the figure's been thrown around at $75 CPM. Uh, translated from Krona to, to dollars, uh, what, what are you charging for pre-roll, for mid-roll? Uh, uh, I don't know. I have to check on that. I don't, oh, I don't I'm think sure you do. A, I don't think it's a secret, but <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It's, you don't know. Uh, you know but I, I can, uh, I'll check it out for you. <laughs> yes. But it's, it's, you know, it's, it's not... Is it near? Is it far? Is it, it double, triple? The con contact price is, is a little more expensive than, than television. So, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to make it more expensive, even if we are sold out. Right. Anna. Well, I wish it was closer to 75, but I think it between 20, around $20. 20 20 dollars. Okay, fine. And for other products, how does it compare within the expressing group for a, a banner ad or, or something else? Or, you know, the, the, the skin within the website? Or the TV is more expensive. More expensive, but how much more? I'm trying to get a sense of, is it a multiple of, of is it double? Is it just slightly more? Uh, is it really, is, is it, because it's been presented to the industry as an exponential jump as to what you can charge. And uh, the Wall Street Journal is, is, is telling us that they'll be able to charge as much as CNBC. Now, CNBC for a 30-second spot on prime time is $10,000. Yeah. Uh, I think it, it, this I, is big money. Yeah. Uh, but th that's also a reason to why we want our uh, video department and the video content to look so professional, because it's the only way to get the same price as you do at CNBC. We're not there yet, but hopefully with this quality that we have now in our content, we will get there. Right. But I think it's also very important what you say. It's a combination of different revenue streams in TV. It's the product placement, it's sponsorships, mm -hmm. and it's pre-rolls. And those are three different prices levels, of yeah, course. Of course, yeah. Go ahead. Hi. Hello. 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 Yeah. Hello. You hear me? No? Uh, Stop. Right here in the front. Can you Number turn it five. on? Yeah, you're on. You're live. Okay, good. You're live. Two, two questions. Uh, first... Uh, is your video content somehow integrated with social media? Is it possible for your readers to use it and post on their Facebook accounts, Twitter, and so on? Second qu question, do you guys have a strategy for paywalls and pay gates, things like this, and how it works with the video? Um, yeah, please. Yes, as I said, uh, all our content, of course, you can share it on Facebook and Twitter. Of course, it's an extremely important traffic driver, so you have to make it available, of course. Uh, when it comes to, to paywalls, uh, we, are, we are looking at it, but uh, I'm not sure what content you can charge for in TV. Definitely not news, definitely not prime time, but maybe other content uh, will be possible. 
the social obvious I showed you an extreme example but uh, the mechanisms are the same and our reporters are working a lot with sharing uh, sharing uh, videos uh, and if we see what is being shared on the internet it's photos and it's videos so definitely you should have a strategy for, for that in terms of pay paywall um, uh, I followed in with interest that New York Times now uh, released their uh, videos and I think they do the right thing I think New York Times have a fantastic opportunity now 